Now Braden Olsen drives and lays it up off the glass and in. Both teams as Dawson Morrow looks to go to work and kicks it out to the far wing. And it's a three ball splash goal from Kobe Parlin. Kobe Parlin, Braden Olsen. And uh, as I say Braden Olsen's name, he splashes home a three. He's down low to go alongside Dawson Morrow. As Monarch defense is just smothering. Olsen leaks out, lays it in. Two quality teams for the Monarchs to test their skills against and looks to have paid off here in the early going. Just the third game of the season as into the ball game is number 20, Dalton Stevens. Good looking player, years to come. And Olsen jumps the passing lane, now has a one on zero breakaway with the basket. Just kind of floats up there and hangs in the air. Connect, Marlin with it. Rises up from 16 and splashes it home. Nothing but net. Drive baseline cut off. Very tough move there for Rafael Bauman. Shot from the elbow from Rafael Bauman. Finn gets it down low. Long stride on the second step to get to the reverse side of the hoop. Puts it in. Outlet up ahead. Olsen cherry picking. Gets a bucket assist from Harlan. Gray gets a catch and shoot for three and hits. Backdoor cut, Olsen, great find, Gray. Monarch basketball, 101. And still applying defensive pressure. Wolf from behind, let's see if Kobe goes up. And the rock, 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 rock. Kobe Harlan. All right, everybody, thank you so much for holding out. I got Kobe Parlin here with me, the uh, player of the game. Kobe finished with 22 points. You guys ended up with a 45-point win. Get a running clock to start the third quarter. What was your guys' mindset coming into tonight's game? Uh, just kind of work on our stuff and play our brand of basketball, like run through, run our sets, get our options. What makes you? Uh, what's got you most excited about the way your team is constructed this year? A lot of people are thinking that you guys might be ready to take the throne here in the Greater St. Helens League and, you know, upend R.A. Long finally. What would you say your thoughts are about where your team's going? You've got a lot of experience at the varsity level. Do you think this team has what it takes to finish first? I do. I really do. We're playing really good, playing well. Anyways, we took a tough loss to Jackson on Saturday, but we just got to play with a little more effort, play better defense, block out, but we're doing pretty good right now. Other than uh, Braden Olsen, who's also had a ton of varsity experience, this is his third year on the varsity. Uh, with you guys missing Deacon Dietz here in the early going, talk about a player that's really stepped up his game in the locker room to help you guys out there on the court. Carson Bogner has really stepped up. He wasn't, he wasn't expecting to start on varsity this year, but he's really stepped up, done a lot, a lot of nice things for us, played good defense, played good offense. He's doing well for us. How did it feel to get the uh, big throwback dunk there and uh, get the crowd going? Really good. I had to redeem myself because I missed one earlier, and I don't know what happened with that, but I knew how to get one this game. Well, according to the score sheet here, again, you got 22 on mine. It says Olsen had 23, but we still chose you for player of the game for the uh, toughness, degree of difficulty of the shots that you decided to take, and, of course, uh, the in-game dunk. Hudson's Bay, probably uh, you know, one of those teams that's going to finish – probably near the bottom end of yeah. the league. Uh, what do you guys think that you can learn from this game, though, and take with you throughout the rest of the season? Run our stuff with a little more effort okay. and play better help side defense and things along the line of that. Well, congratulations on the wins on the win tonight, Kobe, Gist, and uh, go get them next time. Thank you.